The Met Gala is the biggest night of the year in American fashion, often dubbed as the Oscars of fashion. The event draws in the biggest A-list names who will dress according to a set theme. Keeping in line with the first Monday in May date slots, this year's Met Gala fell on May 1st. The Institute paid tribute to the legendary Karl Lagerfeld and his 60 plus years career in fashion with the dress code in honor of Karl. Karl Otto Lagerfeld was a German fashion designer, creative director, artist, and photographer. The icon and legendary designer sadly passed away in 2019 after suffering from pancreatic cancer. He was aged 85. He was one of the most celebrated and influential fashion designers of all time and he headed some of the biggest fashion houses in the world as creative director from Fendi to Chloe to Chanel and his own label Karl Lagerfeld. While some Met Gala theme can be tricky to interpret, this year's Met Gala was all about honoring and celebrating the icon Karl Lagerfeld. So in my opinion, I think there were two ways, two clear ways actually to do this. One being wearing one of his own creations and number two being having another fashion house put their spin on the Lagerfield aesthetic. In simple terms, all outfits should be Carl inspired. I expected to see things that screamed Carl, like tweed, pearls, camellia, that is the iconic Chanel flower, monochromatic color palettes, beautiful bows, and embellishments. As with every themed event, looks are based on personal interpretations. Using the explanation as a yardstick, let's see who delivered and who didn't, aka who are going to roast or praise in this edition of Fashion Roast. Hey y'all, Chantel here for usual. Welcome to the 2023 Met Gala Fashion Rose. Thank you so much for joining today. Please subscribe if you like to see more of me. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section and share the video if you had fun watching. Alrighty, thank you so much. Time's dazzled in this trapless crepe black and white rubber wound creation. It's a corset dress with sweetheart neckline, a satin floor length straight bottom complete with a matching train. It also has a waistline detail that is reminiscent of a tuxedo, I just noticed that, which I think is brilliant because that is a Karl Lagerfeld statement, complete with elbow length gloves, sprouting feather details on the neckline in matching black color, matching fascinator with a birdcage additive, classic red lipstick style and natural smoked out eyes for makeup silver spiky earrings and silver strappy sandals for accessorizing and jewelry she looks so elegant and very sexy in this in tune with the theme i would say with the details and the color 7.5 out of 10 from me i love it also our own butter boy in this checkered prince royal blue and black outfit by Burberry. he paired it with patent leather dress shoes in black i like the play with fabrics the pants being tweed and top in satin the tweed is chanel inspired if you know chanel outfits you know they have a lot of tweeds i think this look gives the exact feel of structure and texture needed um the top has a corsage detail on the neckline that flows into a train it's long sleeve pants is high-waisted it has a zipper inclusion on one side wide legs looks really really amazing hair and bed look well groomed and well tended to as well Overall, Burberry pulled it off with this look and Bona strutted it perfectly on the red carpet. On the carpet actually, it's not red. <laughs> a little bit of a misfit with the top though, for me, but it's not so noticeable. Our red Bona is 7 out of 10 for this. Other celebrities like Barry Keegan, Skepta and Dr. Dre wore similar prints. I'm guessing that when Bonner got on the carpet and he saw other people with these prints, like, what's going on here? This guy don't, don't jabble me. <laughs> like it was planned which i know that wasn't the case remind me of one time when i went for a wedding i saw one woman with the exact fabric i had on but i wasn't mad at it because she looked like an elite and i knew that the fabric was expensive being that my mom gifted it to me so i'm not mad at it to be honest i know they paid thousands of dollars for it so they might as well have anko <laughs> ashrebi <laughs> Yeah, the next person on my list is Erica Badu. You all, I can't, like, I can't even, like, what, what's going on here? Like, why do you have to look like an A or masquerade? What, what, what is this? The singer, songwriter, wore an all white ensemble that showcased her eccentric and very unique fashion style. If you know, you know. It's giving the A or masquerade, like I mentioned, but in the future. <laughs> A mop or microfiber cleaning cloth as well. 
the most eye-catching part of this whole look was the long um, white fur that covered her from top to bottom. It's giving Sia as well. Most of the singer's face was covered in the fur, so you didn't even know she was the one until you came close or photographers or bloggers made it obvious that she was the one. So many memes on Twitter have been going on about this look and I don't blame them because it's it's very hard to understand if I'm being honest. It's giving Sia but on steroids. This look I'm not getting at all. I'm going to rate her a 3 out of 10 for this. 3 out of 10. Yeah. Pop Daddy, aka PDD, aka Mr. Love, aka Sean Diddy Combs, debuted his fashion line, Sean John Couture, on the Met Gala staircase in this fashion forward black motorcycle tuxedo, which featured 600 Swarovski crystals and black pearls as an homage to Lagerfield's time with Chanel love it the camellias is the main character on the very heavy cape as described by combs equaled up to 1000 custom satin and velvet petals in another nod to lagerfield's chanel this is amazing i love that he honored chanel with his own fashion line which mirrors what i said about either wearing Chanel's piece or a designer putting his or her own spin on what it looks like or what it means to wear a Lagerfeld outfit. So I'm here for this. I'm going to rate him an 8 out of 10 for this. Love, love, love it. Actually a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. Yeah. Bad Bunny is next on my list. He certainly knows how to make an entrance. The rapper arrived the Met Gala in this whimsical 26-foot long flower train paired with a white suit a pristine white suit i should add that includes a backless blazer by designer simon port jacquemus the ode to flowers is very fitting as well because it represents the camellia flower that are frequently featured in lagerfield's work this was rakamus's first med gala look and i think it was amazing i love that it combines the feminine and masculine style elements which Karl lagerfield was known to deliver exquisitely Love, love, love it. I'm going to rate him an 8.5 out of 10 for this. Chanel Monet, baby, bend over. Baby, bend over. Let me see you do the yoga. Flex, flex. <laughs> she gave us a transformation outfit on this year's Met. The non binary singer turned actress arrived on the carpet in a large black and white tweed, some brown tuxedo suit with mismatched patterns and ornate details. She accessorized with a white leather kilted cat bag, an homage to the most pampered pets in the world. Actually, maybe one of the most richest pets in the world, Karl Lagerfeld's beloved cat, Choupette. She was then stripped from the oversized outerwear, revealing a sheer black tool dress with black and white bone detail that displayed a black sequin bikini underneath. Janelle lifted up the frame and posed on the steps as she walked off in her white spaceman boots. Love, love, love it. I love the transformation detail. I personally understand the grandiosity of her look because as mentioned by Janelle, it's like a full circle moment for her. Her first met in 2011, she was Chanel and she went with Carl. So that moment alone was very pivotal in her fashion journey, I would say. She loves black and white. Carl is known for black and white as well. Choupette was a nice addition with the bag. Carl would have really appreciated that. I'm sure he would have adored her for that. I really like that it's not the usual wearable look. This is avant-garde and very fashion forward. I am going to raise Janelle an 8 out of 10 for this transformation look. Michaela Cole is the next A-list celebrity on my list. The only word that comes to my mind to describe her look is golden goddess. I mean, the Wakanda Forever star showed up in this jaw-dropping Schiaparelli dress adorned with 130,000 crystals, y'all. Yeah, you heard that right, 130,000. You also had oversized appliques intricately covering her private areas. Gold irregular shaped earrings and stilettos brought more life to the entire look as well. She was one of the hosts, meaning that she needed to bring it and bring it to she. <laughs> I'm over the moon in love with her look, more over the moon in love with her cornrows. Black Queen is giving everything and more. It gave the dress the podium it needed. Everything is just in sync. I love, 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 obsessed with this look. I am going to rate her a solid 9 out of 10 for this. 
Lil Nas X in Dior Home is the next person on my list. He always gives us something to look forward to with his square and wild looks. Drenched in silver bling, he's giving bedazzled vibes and tin man. <laughs> it has a feline um, connotation going on that I believe has something to do with the cat Chopet. I like the bedraught cat Max though, but everything else is just over the top and trashy if you ask me. How do you take so long to get ready and then you show up looking like this? It looks like a forgotten alien that their spaceship forgotten another planet. <laughs> I'm going to rate him a 3 out of 10 for this. I, I really don't want to dwell on this. Elegant and gorgeous in Chanel Spring and Summer 2010 Couture, Naomi Campbell. She nodded to Karl Lagerfeld by showing up in one of his creations. Amazing. The silver encrusted nude pink satin dress is so, so, so chic. She stayed in same silver color scheme with shoes and jewelry, rocking her signature hairstyle, which by the way, I'm rocking a similar style from my hair brand CA dresses. <laughs> Naomi looked like a dream, not too much, not less, just perfect. I am going to rate her an 8 out of 10 for this. Kim Kardashian is the next person on my list. The reality star made an entrance in a corseted Chiaparelli gown draped in multiple strands of real pearls and an off-white coat. The look sparked a social media conversation per usual. Comparing it to her 2007 Playboy shoot where she posed in nothing but pearl details. I'm not so impressed by this. Like it's giving the regular Kim Kim snatched weight and stuff. Stuck to the theme though, so I'll just give her a 7 out of 10. But nothing extraordinary in my opinion. Her younger sister Kendall Jenner is next. The supermodel opted for a black bomb bearing bodysuit, or would I say leotard, complete with a matching cape by Marc Jacobs. She accessorized the outfit with a sparkly black platform boots and her hair was styled in a sleek ponytail. It's giving Playboy bunny but with a modern twist if you ask me. <laughs> Maybe a clue for us that she's bad bunny's better half or other half. You guys, this is what I did here. <laughs> she actually looks like a magician if you ask me in this. Like she's in a fair and she's doing some magic for children to see. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. The only thing reminiscent of Carl for me in this look is the infamous color style. So yeah, I'm just going to rate her a four out of ten, right? Also a Kardashian sister, Kylie Jenner is the next person. The Kylie Cosmetics founder, marking her sixth met war custom hater Ackerman for Jean Paul Gaultier. It's a red satin baby blue voluminous overcoat with crimson trim and a tie high split and shoulder cut out floor length red dress. Paired with satin pumps, hair was styled in a messy bun with minimal makeup. I don't see no car elements here but such a cute look I would say. I would just rate her a 6 out of 10 for this. My baby girl in her fashionably late appearance to close out the red carpet. Over an hour after the rest of the attendees walked, Rihanna finally made her entrance, escorted by her boyfriend ASAP Rocky. The under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, 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 <laughs> and Fenty Beauty Mogul, who was close friends with the late designer, wore an all white Valentino bridal ex gown with oversized floral details. Camellias, remember, I mentioned it, right? A house signature for Chanel. It has a cape, long sleeves, and ball gown features. She added white sunglasses to her look and red lips. Rihanna continues to make her own fashion statement when it comes to maternity wear, if you ask me, and I'm here for it totally. I love it. She moved her cape once inside the gala, revealing a matching rosette adorned dress that highlighted her baby bum. Asaf Rocky, on the other hand, wore a complete recreation of a look worn by Karl Lagerfeld at his spring summer 2005 show, featuring a plaid kilt, black suit jacket, and pinny tie in black. Created by Gucci, because Asaf is an ambassador, Rocky's take on the look featured a skirt that started off short in the front and draped at the back. He wore the kilt piece over embellished jeans, finished up with multiple Gucci belts, steel-toed square boots, as well as one fingerless glove that is a Karl Lagerfeld classic. 9 out of 10 from me for both of them. I think they infused everything Karl into their looks. What better way to honor a fashion icon who was also Rihanna's close friend. Love, love, love it. 9 out of 10. Ray J. Blige gave Monochrome a new meaning with her custom Burberry look. She came clad in this sparkly nude and blue floor length floral dress with lengthy sleeves, a plunging neckline, and a daring high cut side slit. The belted waist defined her silhouette more. 
The blue color though, it got lost in the mix. You really have to look closely to see it. On the accessories front, Mary J. Blythe carried a matching rose printed clutch with gold hardware. Footwear is a pair of coordinating tie high boots, which is a Mary J. Blythe staple. If you know, you know. <laughs> she sure loves her tie high boots though. Jewelry are these diamond and gemstone encrusted dangling earrings by Lauren Swatch. Um, Burberry stuck with blue in terms of color. I don't know if there's a story behind it. I tried to look, but I couldn't find it. You all remember that the same person that made Bonner Boy and a host of other A-listers outfits. Uh, for this, I am going to rate her a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. Lizzo is next on my list, wearing custom black silk crepe. High slit Chanel dress with a glass pearl harness, inspired by a look from the designer's 1991-1992 ready-to-wear collection. Y'all, if you can hear noise now, it's about to rain, so please bear with me. I'll try my best to make the audio as crisp as possible, but I just had to point that out. She finished her ensemble with Chanel accessories and even Chanel makeup. When you're big, you're big. <laughs> Jimmy Choo shoes for footwear and hair was styled in a coily, messy up to love, love, love. 8 out of 10 from me. She looks gorgeous. Jared Leto, who is known for his outrageous red carpet looks, didn't leave anything to our imagination this year as well. By showing up in a giant Chopette costume, aka Carl Lagerfeld's beloved cat, <laughs> it's life size fluffy white. It's life size fluffy white blue eyed feline mascot costume bringing a whole new meaning to this year's Met Gala dress code in honor of Carl. The furry look seemed to confuse onlookers until Jared removed the large cat head to reveal his face <laughs> and everybody just started laughing. He later removed the costume to reveal another outfit, this time I would say much tamer, an all black ensemble that consists of a bedazzled cape, semi shirt blouse, pleated skirt and black trousers. I love Jared Leto for bringing smiles and just lighting up the entire room with the costume. I'm sure Carl is smiling wherever he is. 8 out of 10 from me. <laughs> Congratulations are in order for pro tennis player Serena Williams and her husband Alexis Ohanian. The couple announced that they are pregnant with their second child on the Met stairs. Aww. <laughs> Serena's bump was on display in this black trumpet hem Gucci gown. It features a plunging neckline with sheer sleeves and a white tulle skirt with encrusted detailing. She completed the curve-hugging maternity look with a layered pearl necklace and matching headband. I'm going to rate her a 7.5 out of 10 for this. She looks amazing. Again, congratulations to them. Cara Delavine, the supermodel, is the next person on my list. The model and muse of the late designer honored him with a white button-up shirt dress that has a plunging neckline, mini at the front and at the back, it included a long train. Paired with these thigh-high black leather leg warmers, black strappy sandals, and matching fingerless black leather gloves, another Lagerfield signature. Also, by regretting his trademark gray hair, she did such an amazing job. She finished with jewelry courtesy of chrome hats, cross pendant necklaces, and chunky rings on every finger. I think Kara's edgy ensemble was a fitting tribute to Lagerfeld's signature look and, might I add, his legacy. She finished off with dark smoky eye makeup, a nude lip. I'm sure Kara Lagerfeld would be proud of her look. I'm sure he would have been so happy seeing her looking this way. I'm going to rate her an 8 out of 10 for this. Yes, so many details here and there and everything just sinks in well together. The last person in this fashion roast is Cardi B, wearing this structured ball gown by Shepeng Studio. The look comprises of a white shirt collar and tie before transitioning into a fitted black bodice with a sweetheart neckline adorned with silver studs. The full black skirts featured a kilted overlay that mimics the Chanel boy bag texture right the skirt part of the dress was covered in huge rosettes a reminder of the camellia cardi added matching black opera gloves statement pearl and silver earrings and she traded her black hair for a chic cow inspired silver tone dress color with flipped out ends and tied it beautifully well with a leather hairband so cow if I should add, and I'm here for it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to rate her a 9.5 out of 10. 
actually the highest in this fashion road. So y'all, with that, I come to the end of the fashion road section of this video. Moving over to my best and worst dress. Best dress meal, without even thinking twice, is from Didi Combs. He ate and left no crumbs, if you ask me. The details on this look are insane. I also really love the fact that the debut of his fashion line, Sean Jean, on the Met Gala, was in remembrance of a fashion icon, none other than Karl Lagerfeld. This is just next level, if you ask me. Everything was just amazing. The details were well put together. He paid homage to him. He paid tribute to the late designer, and I'm totally here for it. Also, I never knew that a time would come when a mascot would be on my best dress list. So Galletto, definitely one of my best dress. If you knew Carl, you know that Chopet was part of him, was a significant part of his life. And I love how Jared Leto created that on the red carpet. I love how he brought that to life. It was just so amazing to see. Bad Bunny is also on that list. He comes in closely after Jared Leto. Was dress meal? Definitely Lil Nas X. That was just an atrocious look. Very appalling, not giving anything. Very trashy. Yeah, was dressed for me. Best dress female? Definitely Kanye. She gave it everything and more. Love, love, love the details on that entire look. It was just amazing. So many details that just came together as one giving the masculinity, giving the femininity, giving everything that Kalaga paid stood for. I totally love it. Amazing. Was dressed female? Definitely I do. I don't need to even look at my notes anymore because I have it imprinted in my head. What was she thinking? What was that? What was that? I mean, thank you all so much for watching. In our usual manner, let me know your best and your worst dress in the comment section. Also, share this video if you had vibes, if you enjoyed watching it, basically. Subscribe if you're yet to, but you're feeling the girl. You love her. She's beautiful. <laughs> With all of that out of the way, I just want to genuinely say thank you so much for watching and thank you to each and everyone that shared pictures with me. You all just know how to make this job easier for me and I really appreciate that. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots think